We need to take a look ahead at the key economic reports next week. We should also take a look at what earnings are coming out. Talk about Sam Brakeman Freed getting what he deserves. But most importantly, folks, I want to announce something that I am super, super excited about. I'm recording this Sunday morning. Uh, what I want to let you know about is I am doing something fun at 8 o'clock, talking to 500 folks about how I would get started today in a new market. Lots of you wanted to be a part of this, but couldn't. I want to announce something I am doing for you today. What I am going to do is I'm going to record this session, and then I am going to upload it on my brand new channel, The Daily Financial News. Uh, we are just short of 1,000 subs, and now we've got to get 4,000 watch hours. So what better time to get those final few subs on the new channel? but also to see the watch time jump dramatically. So at one o'clock Pacific, Sunday, April, August, almost at April, August 13th, uh, the two hour video of how I'm gonna get started in a brand new market will go live on the Daily Financial News channel. I will put a link below in the description. It will be the only link to the new channel. I will also put a pinned comment. My hope is we get a thousand, maybe two, three thousand folks that watch this because this is the exact process how I'm going to get started in a brand new market. And uh, I want to thank you for helping the new channel grow. And now we're going to get the watch hours up. So let's get into this, folks. What are the key economic news this week? On Tuesday, uh, we get retail sales. Is the consumer still holding strong? Are we seeing um, you know, different spending patterns. Is it still services? Is it stuff? Where where are we on who is spending? Is it the low end? Is it the high end? Uh, there's a lot going on. We also have a Fed speech on Tuesday. Wednesday, we get a lot of housing data. Uh, the one I will be looking at is housing starts. Are builders, you know, pushing and opening more starts? What's going on with multifamily? Is that slowing down? We will also get the FMOC minutes for the July meeting. I will be looking to see if that decision was unanimous to raise. What was the discussion? Was there any talk of you know a pause in September, things of that nature? And then on Thursday, of course, we get the weekly drumbeat of unemployment claims. What are we doing there? We ticked up last week. Is it a blip? Is it a trend? What is going on there? Now for earnings, we'd have a lot of kind of retailers next week. It starts off hot Monday with Home Depot. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Tuesday. My bad. Tuesday, Home Depot. Wednesday, we will get Target and then Cisco system. Cisco is, for me, that kind of technology, you know, bellwether. They What is going on rest of world? Uh, we've already heard from a lot of SaaS companies, and the All In podcast addressed it again today. As I had been warning for quite some time, selling software, selling SaaS today in an environment where people are cutting budgets, not a great place to be. We've also heard people backing off on cybersecurity, which is a telltale sign. But what is going on with gear, right? Cisco is very much in the hardware business. So what is going on there? Thursday, we will get Walmart, Tapestry, and Bill.com. Again, all kind of giving indications what's going on. Bill.com for me could be small businesses, uh, what is going on there. And then Friday, TikTok, I'm sorry, no, John Deere, TikTok, that's the next bullet. Friday is John Deere. Now for what distracted me, the TikTok trend. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, it was written about, it's called Treat Culture. Uh, this is nothing new. Uh, you've probably heard me talk about it over you know, the last several years about folks that get started on the path to building wealth, dry powder, become elite, and then the all important 10 years. How many folks have I warned you about they get to year three, year four, year five, they're starting to see wealth accumulation. And then they do the dreaded, I deserve, finish the sentence, a car, a vacation, uh, something. And that momentum is killed and you have to build it again. And there's nothing more frustrating than building the momentum again. Most people will never try to build it again. So this treat culture on TikTok, apparently you can search it if you want. I have no idea. I don't have the app. Uh, it is spending money as a form of self-care. Spending money as a form of self-care. That little dopamine hit. It is a temporary boost during stressful times. And then, quote unquote, I deserve it. Folks, you have a choice. 
what do you deserve more? Do you deserve wealth, freedom, or some new shoes, new purse, new outfit, fancy trip, whatever it is? It's up to you. Uh, take responsibility. If you deserve it, who is to argue? But just don't tell me you want to be wealthy and you're out splurging on treat culture. They don't go hand in hand. They are very, very different. U.S. housing market hits a record equity level, folks. There are $47 trillion in equity uh, in the U.S. housing market. Uh, it, the inventory shortages are fueling price booms. Not really a price boom, but values. The last record was last June. The last peak last June was 140, or I'm sorry, was 46.6 trillion. Again, today we are at 47 trillion, so a new record. Uh, looks like Redfin's uh, CEO or C uh, economist, chief economist, Chen Zhao, uh, is talking about 30 uh, year rate mortgages are propping up the US housing market. One second. Sorry about that. I'm not sure if you can hear him. This little guy wanted to say hi. This this is uh this is Sunny here. So uh all right, Sonny, you get some FaceTime. So again, back to Chin Zhao. Uh he's talking about 30-year rate mortgages increasing or propping up the US home values. It's it's interest rate lock-in, it's people staying put, it's all the stuff we've talked about. But what I did find interesting is LA, LA County actually had the largest fall in home values. Uh it looks like since last June. So roughly a year, uh, it has fell $152 billion, actually $152.6 billion. So there are clearly areas losing value. But again, we are talking national in this picture. What I really appreciated from Redfin's data is the following. And I ask you, who told you this was coming? So here we go. If you break down the national picture for homes value between 500 and 750 k Property values are up 4.1%. However, if you go luxury, in this case, 2 million to 5 million, property values are down 7.4%. I want to remind you about a discussion we had the other day with Lance Lambert from Fortune. Uh, we put out a challenge or a request or an ask. If you are a broker in a city, we would love for you to create a tiered view of your city by price point. What is a buyer's market? What is a seller's market? Uh, I forget his name, but there was a gentleman that did that for Houston and it was eye popping. Basically, the cheaper you got, the hotter it was and the more expensive you got, the more ice cold it was. So again, I think this is true across the country, but we'd love to see more. Now for Sam Bankman Freed, he is finally in jail. For those that have been wondering why he's not in jail, I have no idea. I guess it's part of the process and it's nice to have connections. But apparently, uh, witness tampering was enough to send the young man to jail. Uh, obviously, he's still awaiting trial, uh, but he will be spending his time confined, uh, which I know a lot of folks will be, uh, I don't know, excited, happy about. Uh, definitely destroyed a lot of folks. And then finally, folks, billionaire Barry. You know Barry Stern like somebody we've talked about the last couple of months. Yes, that billionaire who brought PowerPoint to CNBC. Dude, Barry, not a good look. Don't do that again. Can't believe your people let you do that. But he is foaming at the mouth. Yes, Billionaire Barry is foaming at the mouth. He is going to capitalize on the distressed commercial real estate industry. He is talking about launching a distressed fund. Folks, the last fund he did was $10 billion. So how can this be? How can Billionaire Barry be so excited about distressed real estate coming? Folks, let me just tell you uh, two words. Non-recourse loan. Billionaire Barry is going to lose a lot of properties. Billionaire Barry is raising cash. Billionaire Barry is going to go, let that asset go. Let me go buy that one. That's how the billionaires play this game, non-recourse debt. It is going to be fun. I'm going to put this guy down. All righty, folks. So again, remember, I mean, we have this crazy event going on from 8 to 10 a.m. this morning. You can watch the recording. I will put it on the Daily Financial News channel. It will go live at 1 p.m. Pacific. Please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, make sure we get over 1,000, and then watch the video. It's going to be roughly two hours in duration. My hope is thousands of people watch it, and we can knock out that 4,000 watch hours 
and the Daily Financial News Channel will be monetized just like that. All righty, folks, take care of yourself. Have an amazing day. Bye.